Breaking news, bro. Wow, breaking, breaking news, wow. Breaking news, wow. Wow, breaking news. Okay, so Errol Spence is sent to finally unify for the second time in his entire career, which he should have done three years ago, except he faked an eye injury to avoid Manny pa a 43-year-old shot to pieces Manny Pacquiao. God bless Manny Pacquiao. If Manny Pacquiao was in this division, he'd have all the belts. It was in his prime and was still in this division, he'd have all the belts. All right, a prime Manny Pacquiao kills Ugas, he kills Spence, and he kills fucking Crawford. I'm not going to give Errol Spence some uh, credit for some shit he should have been doing three or four years ago. That's number one. If you guys think Ugas is going to win this fight, you're on crack. They'll never give Ugas a decision, and he doesn't have knockout power. That's number one. Number two, let's just make this fucking quick and, and snippy, shall we? Yo, hold on, hold on, wait. Good fight. Not worth $75 over, if you recall. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, everybody's going to say, well, maybe Spence's damaged goods. Well, I said he faked an eye injury, so to avoid Pacquiao, which he did. So, I don't think he is damaged goods, which is why he's going to beat Ugas in this fight, by decision, people. Errol Spence, UD, even if Ugas beats him, they won't give him the decision, people. I'm not going to give Errol Spence credit for fucking finally u unifying after three years. Lomachenko unified three times in a little over 12 months. I'm not giving Errol Spence credit for unifying once every three years, people. Okay? It's a good solid fight. No way Ugas wins it unless he stops him. If he knocks him out, he gets a draw. No way they're going to give Ugas a decision over Errol Spence. Because Wilder's about to retire... And the only two other dudes that uh, that the PBC are putting on pay-per-view are Tank Davis and Errol Spence. There's not a fucking shot in hell unless he stops them, which Ugas has 10 knockouts in, in 30 some odd fi 31 fights. So it ain't happening, people. Keep dreaming. Spence wins this fight unanimous decision. Like I say, I'll be away at summer camp when this fight goes down more, li more than likely. But you'll get a prediction video when the time comes. But that's some early thoughts for you. I don't get, is this fight worth $75? Absolutely not. Uh, Bob Barron puts on, Bob Arum puts on the great, all-time greatest promoter of all time in the history of boxing. Bob Arum gave us an undisputed fight and a unification fight for, on free television last year. <coughs> this isn't a $75 fight, it's a $40 fight. So don't, you know, nothing against the two fighters, but don't put feed continue to feed the pockets of dirt bags like Floyd Mayweather and Al Heyman. It's not, not pay-per-view worthy. Not at all. If it was a $40 or a $30 pay-per-view like a Louis, like Luis Ortiz, Charles Martin was, I'd say, yeah, go ahead and buy it. Is it worth 80 fucking dollars? Absolutely not. Uh, no way Ugas gets a decision. They'll have to, he'll have to knock him out to get a draw. That's some early, like I say, I'm not going to give Errol Spence credit for some shit he should have been doing four years ago. Simply put, uh, that being said, I'm tired. I've had a long day. I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. I'm going to go take a nap. You guys keep dreaming. Breaking news! Wow! Wow! Everybody have a wonderful day. God bless you and salute. Hit the like and subscribe and go fuck your mother.